Hi. So uh, I'd like to talk to you about status this evening. Um, I know that as people who have chosen to come to a poetry reading when you could have been watching a cool band or eating or anything, you're probably um, not that concerned about how society views you. But I would argue that there are some people in the world who think that people who come to poetry readings and are thoughtful and sensitive and are basically big crybabies. Uh, it's a kind of status in itself. Now, uh, rap music is the kind of most obvious forum for displays of success and reputation. And within rap music, the most high form of status is to have gone from uh, being very poor to being very rich. And uh, Biggie Smalls sums that up in this lyric. Birthdays was the worst days. Now we sip champagne when we thirsty. Uh, except that Biggie Smalls, real name Christopher George Wallace, was brought up in a firmly middle class family and there was always food on the table as evidenced by the fact that he was 20 stone when he uh, <laughs> arrived in the hip hop scene. It wasn't success that made him fat, it was uh, Mama Smalls' home cooking. Uh, although there was obviously still a kind of relative rags to riches from him, from being middle class rich to being like ultra, ultra rich. And that was also evidenced by the time he died, he weighed a pretty gangster 38 stone. Uh, so the theme for tonight, in case you haven't noticed, is a universal one. That's Ross. Uh, uh, Ross, for those of you who don't know, which is most of you, that's good, is a poet. And uh, the status of, of being a poet has dropped hugely since the days of Wordsworth and those lot. Um, in those days, poets were seen as, or poetry was seen as a direct communication with God. And now poetry is viewed more as a kind of crash for the mentally ill. Uh, but that's fine. Ross compensates for being a poet by having a beard, which is a very important masculine status symbol. And um, I actually can't grow a beard, and I only shave about once a week, which is really, it really hurts to see Ross with a big bushy mic. Um, but Ross has other talents as well, and most importantly, in terms of hip hop, um, is the way Ross, Ross wears his trousers. Um, it's a rap status shorthand that the further your trousers are down your legs, the more uh, ripped? That's not right. What, what, what's it? Dope! Yes, good. The more dope you are. Um, and Ross, let me tell you, is very dope in the trouser department. Um, so I think rappers should be encouraged to, um, like, within the album, include little disclaimer verses where they reveal to you what their lifestyle is actually like rather than the lifestyle they've been telling you about in most of the songs. So just like every now and then, something like, Yo, 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 I actually have given up smoking weed because of my mild asthma. Um, also, I'm, I'm married with two children. I say monogamous, you say relationship. Something like that. That's my idea for rap music. Um, so now I'm going to attempt, very ill-advisedly, to rap. And just to show you that I really mean it. Oh... So this poem, poem, this rap, is called Raise Your Status. And excuse me if I occasionally glance at you, that's, that's cool. <laughs> there are very many ways to impress your peers, so just chill for a second, I'll suggest ideas. If you walk with a swagger like you're shot in the hip. If you can't help but shiver from the ice on your wrist. If it takes 25 stellars just to get you pissed, then raise your status. If you finished reading Ulysses the third time over. If you rent a flat overseas in Moldova. If you ferment your own blue cheese, Gorgonzola, then raise your status. If you control your electronics from a central hub, if you try to get papped as you're leaving the club, if you loudly quote the bard, aye, there's the rub, then raise your status, pop your collar, drop your suspension, then holler, who's the greatest? If you're studying for a sustainable development doctorate, if you're a junior partner in a national conglomerate, if you can throw a tennis ball a really long way, then make sure everyone can hear you say, raise your status. Manual labourers looking tough, status. 
Spaniel trainers rocking Crufts status. <laughs> Global campaigners locked in cuffs status. Unpack your self-worth apparatus. If getting laid is equal to Olympic gold and you want a load of medals while you're not too old and the walk of shame is like a victory lap where you call all your mates for a quick recap then raise your status. Or if you've slept with just one and that one is the one and the oneness of the one makes you feel like you've won, then raise your status. It's why our friends rate us. Now tell me if my punk band's on hiatus, if my backhand is not the greatest, if my rhyme scheme's a bit off, if my nose is not the straightest, why would anybody date us? Hello, I'm Joe, I'm in between jobs. Hi, I'm Joe, I like to write poems. Hello, I'm Joe, I teach writing in prisons. Hello, I'm Joe, I'm a published novelist. Boom, you feel that in the back? That's the sound of my statue being uncovered. A thousand thank yous is dedicated to my mother. His modesty turns most men to dust in a godless world. It's in Joe we trust. Raise your status. How can I remember that line? Rev your Mercedes Benz, sever your old friends, Trevor, Paul, Daniel and Ben, fuck those guys. They don't know you now with bass bins in the boot and tinnitus ringing in your ears, cha-ching. If you're carrying a flick knife, or you're marrying a fit wife, then raise it up. Show your diplomas, let's see your traumas. Who here discovered that the cells weren't dormant? Who's kissed an airbag? Who lived through the gulag? Who was in the skag? But that's behind them now. Raise your status. Like going to see all those underground gigs where you hear new bands before they make it big. Haven't you heard of All Back to Tim's? They're the greatest band in Pregnotech. Haven't you heard of erstwhile limbs? They're the greatest band in Turtleneck. Haven't you heard of... Beneath the ground lies miles of stone in a hall of fire. They're the greatest band in Meteor Rock. <laughs> if there's a higher race of lizards... Oh, wrong. <laughs> if you're a level 60 wizard in the world of Warcraft, if there's a higher race of lizards and you hear their broadcasts, if you knew there'd be a blizzard despite the cloudless forecast, then raise your status, unearth your self-worth apparatus. If you were the kid who always got detention, if you're ready for the switch to the fifth dimension, if you call your girls bitches and your boys your henchmen, then raise your status, unpack your self-worth apparatus. Create a new charity anonymously. Once you're dead, they'll rename it eponymously. That'll raise your status. And if you've read the oeuvre of Alan de Botton, then you'll see his predictions are surely spot on. And even with bedsheets of pure Egyptian cotton, we're still all going to rot. So raise up your status. And I just pause for a minute. That ah sound like distant applause is just a slow puncture leaking. Let me tell you the cause. While you were raising your status, Death was sharpening his claws. All empires turned to sand like King Ozymandias. So please think of him when you're swirling your brandy glass. Now, before I finish, I'd like to do a bit of hip-hop style chord response. So basically, I'm gonna say something, 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 and then you're gonna go, you're still gonna die. So um, I think you can try that. Um, here we are, homework. Very good. <laughs> yes, your name's on the list. All the acclaimed novelists. You've gone to bed with a model. Home baking bread is a doddle. You got six bodyguards. You keep chickens in the yard. You can name all the trees. You can speak Japanese. You've got a terminal disease. You've written a poem. I can't keep it going. I'm going to take a break. Back in a little bit. Thank you very much. Enjoy.